but then kind of modify it. So this is a bit later in the game. Um, we've actually gone now from a 2D to a 3D environment. Um, and now rather than living in a little you know, drop of water, we're living kind of under the ocean. Now, this entire world you see here is procedurally generated. Um, and especially the guy, which I've created as a player. And when I say procedural, I also kind of include player creating things, being very malleable in a procedural way. So for instance, um, the player creates his character, but the animations, behaviors, textures are all generated procedurally. Um, now this guy has a life cycle, uh, very much like the little cell guy did. He also competes with other creatures in the environment. Um, another thing to realize here that's kind of different is that all the creatures in this environment um, are coming from other players. Look around here a little bit. Just one over to those guys. Now, when I say coming from other players, what I mean is that they are asynchronously being sent to your computer to fill out your world. We're actually building a balanced ecosystem. Depending on what your world needs, we deliver other players' content to fill out that world around you. Now, like the cell game, you know, this guy, when he reproduces, he lays an egg. Click on the egg. And now we go into the editor. Now, this is the editor for this guy. Um, you can see he's kind of made out of parts. Um, the editor here is roughly a mixture of kind of Mr. Potato Head, Erector Set, and Clay. Um, I can grab the parts and manipulate them. Um, I can even kind of like pull them off um, and morph them. So I'll pull that off. I can grab the uh, spine here, manipulate it. Uh, you see there's an underlying skeleton here, which gives me some clue as to kind of the internal structure of the guy. Um, and like Clay, I can roll the mouse wheel and actually sculpt him smoothly to give him his outer form. Now, these things are built out of functional parts that actually have meaning to the guy um, in terms of how he's going to behave and live in this world. Um, these parts also have, are, are mutable. So, let's pull off his tail here. The part categories um, come in functional divisions. So these are graspers. Um, a lot of the parts also have some functional value besides their primary one. So that's a grasper as well as having a little bit of a weapon ability. Um, but it's primarily grasper. Uh, this is a three-jointed leg, make it a little bit smaller. Um, these are feet. So basically, I've taken my little swimmy guy. I can also scale the parts as I put them on. Um, so I've taken my little swimmy guy and basically pulled his fins off, which is going to mean he's not going to swim too well now. Um, let's see. There. So this guy is going to be a tri pod guy. Um, so the player can build like really unusual characters in here. The system will analyze what they built and then kind of bring it to life all procedurally. So um, we'll bring this guy back into the game. And 